And welcome back to a brand new episode of my hardcore world. So you guys voted in the community poll if you wanted to see a fresh world for 1.17 or if you wanted us to continue on with Puppy Island and you guys voted and your votes matter because we're going to keep this world, baby. We're going to keep it and we are going to thrive and survive, hopefully. Uh, also, need to feed my babies. Babies who want some fishies. You want to make a baby and they are so cute. Oxlottles are definitely one of the cutest and my most favorite mobs in the game. But unfortunately, no blue oxlottle was born today, but we'll keep trying. We'll keep trying and hopefully one day we will get the precious rare little blue oxalotto and it'll be amazing. And here it is, more cats. So I decided that I wanted to go ahead and add my real life pets into this Minecraft world. So here we have Emma, the oldest. We have Teddy Bear and we have Shadow. So about a week and a half ago, I rescued two little kitties who were in a bad situation and needed some help. And they're so little. A uh, little black one was still eating only formula. Uh, Teddy Bear was eating like a pig, uh, but now Shadow's eating like a pig too. But it's been a lot of fun in real life um, taking care of these little babies and we're gonna keep them. So I wanted to go ahead and add them to this world. And I'll go ahead and put a picture of my three cats right now on the screen so you guys can see all of it in its precious glory. Look at it. Little Emma, little teddy bear, and little Shadow. Little cuties. Best cats ever, right? In the last episode, we defeated the Ocean Monument, which was so exciting. So now we have access to some really cool blocks like the Prismarine and the Sea Lanterns, which I've been using to decorate up the laboratory and probably use to decorate up some more stuff too. Uh, and I also went ahead and did a little bit of nether scrap mining, but I ended up using most of my gold to make more golden apples since I did kind of spam a bunch during the ocean monument fight. So I think what I'm going to do now is do a little bit more nether right farming. It's just fun. I feel like I'm in a grinding mood. I'm going to drink some coffee, grind out some netherite, see what we can get, and also get a bunch of gold so we can actually use them. So let me go ahead and show you guys. Oh gosh, we're under attack. Where are you? Show yourself! Our nether's a mess. I need to like really work on decorating up this nether. <laughs> it's a little bit of a mess. It's a little insane. Maybe I'll do that in the live stream or something and prettify this area, but we're just gonna go jump down here. And then this path that right here will actually lead you to the sandlands where I was collecting sand and collecting all of our fishies to feed our oxalotls. But down this way actually leads to my netherite mines. Nothing too fancy, okay? Don't get don't get too excited. It's just it's just you know a little strip mine. But I want to show you guys <laughs> show you guys the the magic. Um, so yeah, I've been like going down tunnels. I probably could use TNT. That might be a little fun. I think I do. Ooh, you know what I do? Yeah, I do. But yeah, this goes on for quite a while because you know lots of farming going on here but yeah i do have tnt and i do have you know what our um gunpowder farm's actually been working pretty well i don't think i'll do too many but you know what let me go head back home and grab some tnt this could be fun and how much tnt we, we got look at that it's doing really well i'm very proud of you you little creeper farm you you're doing a good job getting that tnt slowly but surely over time gonna get all that stuff. Also, I've been getting bats. <laughs> and it looks like we can make 38 TNT. I think I do have some more that I got from different adventures right there. And I do have more TNT in here. And we do have more downstairs too. I don't want to use it all, but let's see how much you can make. I need to get more sand. Oh my gosh. Um, but let's, let's make some more. We got over a stack. That makes me feel good. And let's light her up, baby! Oh my gosh. So it's a mistake. No, we're fine. Everything's fine. Use your shield. Look at that. Boom, boom, baby. How much nethery are we gonna get? Oh. That's a big hole. Hey, that's Bedrock. Hi, Bedrock. How are you? How's the family? Let's go ahead and light these. Activate! 
I love it. I love TNT. It's the best. And it looks like there's two pieces. Let's go ahead and collect those up. One and two. Also, I'm going to go ahead and collect some gold while we're down here too, since we are running super low. And let's light her up, baby. Explode that TNT. <gasps> hey, it hurt me. It's fine. We're fine. Mistakes were made. Mistakes. And in this trip, we found seven ancient debris, which I'm going to go ahead and smelt up now. We also got 63 netherite ore, which is awesome. Ooh, we got some sponge drawing in there. And also got a little bit more nether quartz, which is always good and always needed. And that brings our total up to 17. So how many can we make? We can make four. And we have one little scrap left over. So it looks like you, trusty axe, are getting an upgrade. And also, our lovely diamond shovel, you're getting an upgrade too. Also, I want to go ahead and make some more golden apples, because that saves my day. So there we go. We're up to 19. Not too bad. We're doing the work. And it looks like we have enough for one more golden apple. You never know, okay? You never know where you're going to need another one. These things are pretty amazing and hardcore, so there we go. We're up to 20. Also, I don't think I showed this yet, but I made a little cat area for all the different types of cats, because I love cats, and I'm a crazy cat lady, and now I got two kitties on my own actually three kitties of my own and uh, I made I made an area for all the cats and we currently have every single variant besides the tabby cat so that's really exciting I'm thinking once we get all the different variants maybe I'll make a special like kitty island somewhere and move them over there so that all these cats can live their happy life cuz cuz look at them they're all beautiful and amazing and I named them after their breed based on the minecraft wiki which is awesome I love cats did I mention that I'm a crazy cat lady now. Also, I don't think I showed you guys this yet properly. This is a new, like, little farming shed. I have some, like, natural little honey pieces in here, which I think looks cool. I'm not gonna, like, harvest them or anything. It's just for decoration purposes. Look at these candles! They're beautiful. Love these candles. Uh, we got some honey on the ceiling. I got some sticky honey over here. And, you know, I just think this is a nice little workshop for the farming area. Right here that leads down into the lab and now what I want to do is decorate some more of the lab with some honey I'll show you guys what I mean excuse me bees I think they're sleeping but we're gonna steal some of your honeycombs not sure how much I'll need that should be enough though and thank you very much and how is our uh, ooh. oh no there's slimes <laughs> the slimes are taking over you are not a bee I'm so sorry, but you, you're you definitely not bees. You don't belong here. <laughs> it's so funny that we're in a slime chunk right here. And sometimes we'll get some naturally spawning slime, which I think are kind of cute. And also we get a bunch of slime balls. Uh, but ooh, you've been making the honey. That is awesome. Very nice. Not sure what I'm going to do with all this honey stuff, but I love it and I need it. Also, I might as well check on the slime situation. We have a derpy slime farm that we need to go ahead and decorate, but you know what? We'll get to it. We'll get to it um, down here. We got some slime blocks and also got some slime in here. Very nice. Good job, slime. Keep dying. Doing your thing. Very proud of you. Also over here is our zombie spawner. That's kind of cool how everything's connected because we have the slime room down here. We have our little baby oxalotl breeding tank right here. And we got the zombie spawner right in here. I love it. Probably affects the spawn rates a little bit, but I don't care. I love I love having everything together. It's the circle of life. You are not a bee. Get out of the bee area. Also over here, I was doing some work, and this is going to be like a little aquarium area for some of the smaller fish. And I think it'll be cool to add some in here. Maybe we'll add some today. I do have some, some fish in buckets that aren't for food. They look a little hungry, though. Next episode, we'll feed you some more. Don't worry. 
Hello, Professor Gurgles. How are you doing today? Spinning around like awesome. Should we make Professor Gurgles like a proper office area or should we leave him in this tube? Let me know. Also, Flubber. Should we make Flubber like a little baby nursery? These are the questions that I ask myself. But what I want to do with these honeycombs is actually decorate a little bit in here. So everything has oxidized. But if we use an axe and right click on a copper, it'll move it back to a state and then you can do it again. And then you can do it again and it brings it back to its original beautiful state. And then if you take that piece, you can go ahead and take your block of copper and put some wax on it and it will stay that way. So I think what I want to do is to make some different variants around here. I don't want everything to be the same color. Oh my gosh, there was totally an easier way to do this. Okay, let me show you. Don't do what I was doing. Go ahead and use your axe to get the variant that you want and just use the honeycomb. Look at that! Now it's all wax. Don't even have to break them. This is so much easier and also very cool and kind of perfect for decorating purposes. It's so pretty. I love it. And now we got some different variations in our zombie room with all the different types of copper. I kind of wish that the copper, I guess they're technically lightning rods, uh, would change too. Maybe they'll add that in the future so we'd have different colors of those, but it looks really awesome nonetheless. So I made a little area down where we have our villagers and I have a zombie guy. So he's been chilling down here and I've been converting some of our villagers to get some better trades. So not this guy. But let's see, this one, no, not you. Wait, did it change when I upgraded to, no, there we go. There we go. I was worried. I'm like, does it change when you upgrade to the, to the newest version of Minecraft? But it's fine. There's still one, one pumpkin for one emerald, which has been perfect. And uh, I haven't converted all of them. Like this guy, he's still normal, but we'll still trade with him because we've got a uh, excess supply of pumpkins and melons, which has been working really nice. But, uh, let's go ahead and get some money. And I've been getting tons of emeralds, and look at that. We're gonna be able to make a beacon out of emerald. It's gonna be pretty awesome. Speaking of beacon, I should probably do some mother hunting. Yes, I think we're ready to do some mother hunting. Maybe I'll head to our another fortress. See if we can get a skull or two. So this way over here, he skeleton. I'm trying to explain things to people. Uh, this way, I kind of made a derpy pathway. Once again, another is really messed up. <laughs> Need to decorate it. Uh, but I made this pathway that takes us to, I think, the closest another fortress. I had a really hard time finding one. Uh, but if we go down here and follow this, also can take a strider, but I think we'll just run for it for now. Run down the scary looking pathway. <laughs> so scary. And there she is, baby. Let's go ahead and see if we can fight some mothers. Hi guys, am I wearing my gold? I'm wearing my gold. Don't hate me. I love you. So normally down here, I'll get quite a few withers spawning. Uh, also I've got blaze. Blaze is spawning too, which is nice, I guess. So we can use that for fuel or for making more potions. Uh, but yeah, here's one over here. I kind of want to use our sword because I have looting on it. And that means a higher chance of getting a skull. Not a skull, but you know, it's cool. I swear, they put coal down there just to, like, troll people. Because every time I see a piece of coal drop, I'm like, oh, skull. But it's not. It's not a skull. It's a lie. I guess I need my bow. Yes. Two thousand years later. Ooh, we got one! We got one! Fish bait. Don't judge me, okay? Just don't. Just don't do it! So up in the attic here in our house, I decided to make a little area to remember some special memories. So May 31st, 2021 is when I recorded the episode where we did the monument battle and defeated the ocean temple place or ocean monument. You know, whatever, whatever you want to call it. We have the ocean map right here, ocean explorer map, along with some items that we found in that place, like the prismarine and sponges and sea lanterns. The 10 buckets that we use 
for the battle axolotls that help me defeat the ocean monument, along with some more decoration blocks. And since we just got three wither skulls, I'm very excited we're going to defeat a wither in this series in the next episode, so be sure to stay tuned for that. So as a placeholder, I went ahead and put some of this very awesome deep slate diamond ore. I love it. It's one of my favorite blocks. It just looks so cool. And it kind of fits in with the wither skulls. And then I did want to show you the new signs. So if we go ahead and put in wither light, and then we go ahead, we can use a die and you know, change that, but it's really hard to read. But now we can go ahead and use glow ink sacks. Look at that. You can actually read it. And my phone just went off. So it wasn't yours, it was mine. But you can actually read the signs now. Isn't that awesome? I love it. But yeah, next episode, we are going to go ahead and defeat the wither and get another star and make our very first beacon. That's going to be so exciting. Don't miss the next episode. It's going to be great. Also, I'm going to try to get a bunch of wither roses. E-Rose needs more roses, okay? I need all the roses. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!